Hi, how you doing? Justin here. Hope you're enjoying the ear training course so far. And today we're going to talk about testing yourself because once you've got used to playing and singing and recognizing a few of these intervals, a really good thing to be doing regularly is recognizing them and taking little kind of ear training tests. And there's quite a few different ways of doing it, which is what I want to talk to you about in this lesson. And then uh, next lesson, I'll actually be doing a test to see how you guys get on at uh, recognizing your fourths, fifths and octaves. But first of all, like I said, I want to talk a bit about ways you can test yourself and particularly actually the first one is to try and find a jam buddy to practice your ear training with so basically you sit back to back if you've been doing the course properly you know how to play your fourths fifths and octaves so you're going to play one and your mate is going to figure out what it is and tell you the answer and you know you can play it once twice or three times depending on uh, where you're at and in your development i usually start with playing each interval three times with a little gap between each one for the person who's doing it to try and be able to kind of sing between them and and remember the the song that they can the, the reference song that they can use to help uh, trigger the memory of what interval it is um, so you might just sit there and you know you can move it around um, sometimes if it, if you're really struggling with it or your mates really struggling with it it can be helpful to start on the same root note a few times which after the first couple gets fairly easy so you might play the first one like a little gap there for you know your mate to sing. what song is that do 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 do, 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 do. And then they probably got it. But you're going to give it a third time for them to check the answer. So as a as a listener for that, doing an exercise at the first one, usually I try and just go for a gut feeling, like what is that interval? I think it's this. And then the second time through, I try and imagine the song reference that I think is that interval. And then the third time through, I kind of check it and sing along as the, as, as the interval is being played to make sure that it's the right one. So that's a, a good method. Usually, you want to try and develop a kind of a gut feeling for, oh, that's this interval, because that's really where you want it to get to. You don't want to have to sit and uh, sing an interval each time you hear it. You want to be able to just recognize it. But the interval, th you know, the song reference uh, is a really great tool. That I think it speeds the process up a lot, but you want to try and you want to be aware that you're trying to push that aside eventually, right? So that's the long term. That would be your goal. Um, this idea of, of playing and then having a, a, another person uh, guess the interval is something I, I know Tommy Emmanuel did with his brother Phil. They used to sit back to back and uh, Tommy would play a lick and then Phil would have to try and guess, you know, and play it back to him basically. And then Phil would do the same for Tommy. You know, it's a really powerful thing. And I think working with another human being I think can be really beneficial as well because you kind of you can get a bit competitive and you can be supportive and it's, there's lots of different aspects of that that, it, that can be beneficial so that, that's by far the best one I think if you can find somebody to do your interval ear training with on a regular basis that that would be a great thing you know maybe you know you're working during the week on your own doing stuff and then on the weekend you test each other and see how you get on that kind of thing. Um, if you don't have somebody that, that uh, you can rely on for doing your interval tests with regularly, um, I, there's a couple of other options. The first thing I want to mention, I always feel a bit funny trying to sell you my own stuff, but I've got an ear training app which is really, really effective. It follows exactly the same system as I'm going to be teaching you. So it kind of makes sense to be using that. You know, I, I keep it nice and cheap so it's, it shouldn't be too difficult for most of you to afford. Um, and it'll basically just test you uh, on, with guitar and piano sounds uh, on all of the different intervals. It follows the same kind of grade system that we're doing on the course. So, you know, the first level is just fourths, fifths and octaves and the second level up adds in the seconds and thirds and so on. It does all of the ascending, then the descending and then, you know, so it's following the same, same pattern as we're going to be doing uh, in this course. Um, I've also got some tracks available on iTunes and on the Justin Guitar Official store, which are basically MP3 tracks. Uh, the benefit of those is it's a lot of different instruments. So rather than just having guitar, we've got guitar and violin and marimba and a bunch of other different instruments, uh, piano as well, electric piano. Um, and we do uh, quick fire rounds as well. So each of the intervals in the early stages is played three times. So you've got a lot of time to figure out what the interval is. But then we have these quick fire ones where each interval is only played once. So, you, you know, it kind of keeps you on your toes. And then I actually say what the answer is. And that can be really good because it's kind of useful for stuff like being in the car or whatever, where you, you don't have to uh, write down an answer or anything like that. You can just listen to it and then hear it and go, oh, I think it's this. 
you know, and then I'll tell you whether you're right or not. You don't have to say it out loud. You don't have to do anything. You can just have your, in your mind, oh, I think it's a fifth. And then after the third one, you'll hear my voice going, perfect fifth. You know, probably get pretty sick of hearing my voice. But I should, I should point out, I just mentioned doing it while you're driving. But for, if you're going to do that kind of thing, make sure you concentrate on the driving first. You know, that I don't want anyone, you know, having accidents because they were concentrating on the ear training. So use my practice tracks responsibly, please. And the last thing I want to mention, of course, is making your own ear training tracks because it's actually fairly simple to do on guitar. I did it myself when I was at college. Um, it seemed to make sense to me to be able to test myself regularly. So I used to make these tracks up of, literally I used a tape recorder back in the day uh, and I'd record and I'd play a bunch of different intervals on the guitar and then I'd listen back to them and name them. And that were, there's a few kind of slight issues. One, that if you're doing it that way, you do get used to uh, or, or be able to remember the patterns that you played, okay, which can make it a little bit uh, uh, easy to guess after the first couple of listens. I used to make a bunch of them and then just swap the tapes around all the time, so I never really could remember which one was the one that I'd been working on previously. And uh, although I started to recognize when I tried to trick myself by doing the same interval a few times in a row, I'd, uh, you know, I cottoned onto my own tricks fairly quickly. Uh, which is not that effective. I guess you could find someone else and record a bunch yourself and swap them with your mate. You know, there's, like, there's lots of different ways that you could be doing this kind of thing, you know, but don't be afraid of making your own recordings to test yourself. So on my website and on the description of this video, you will see links to my app and to the ear training tracks. So you might want to go and check those out. Remember, there's a lot more info over on the website as well, little diagrams to help you remember how to play the different intervals, which can be pretty important if you're, you know, testing your mate, you want to make sure that you're playing them right and stuff. Uh, and we're going to be continuing in the course very soon. The very next lesson is going to be an ear training test for you. So you definitely want to be uh, trying to do a little bit of practice before you hit that. And I will see you for plenty more lessons and ear training very soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.